nth terms of linear sequences grade D. Now I say that, but the first part is not a linear sequence, it's n squared minus 1. But we're just trying to find the first three terms. So we make n equals 1 for the first term. So when n is 1, we get 1 squared, which is 1. Take away 1 is 0. The second term, we make n equals 2. 2 squared is 4, take away 1 is 3. And when n is 3 for the third term, we get 3 squared, which is 9, take away 1 is 8. So that's not a linear sequence, but it's a fairly straightforward sequence nonetheless. Work out the nth term of this sequence. If we look at the difference between the numbers, it's going up by 6 and 6 and 6 and 6. And that tells us this is a linear sequence. It means it's the same difference each time. That means that this sequence is based on this 6 times table. If I write the 6 times table just above these numbers, you should be able to spot the connection between them. So that's the 6 times table. So that's 6 lots of n. So the first, when n is 1, 6 times 1, 6 times 2, 6 times 3, 6 times 4. And then what we've got to do to get from here to here is take away 1. And that's the same for all these. You must check a few of them to make sure it's not just the first one. So this sequence is 6n minus 1. There is a method mark for getting the 6n and uh, a mark for getting the complete statement 6n minus 1. Part C, n is a positive whole number. Is the expression 5n minus 1 always odd, always even, or could it be odd or even? So what we've got to do here is just put some numbers in and see what happens. So if we start with n equals 1, we get 5 times 1, which is 5, minus 1, which is 4, which is even. We try the next number along, n equals 2, 2 times 5 is 10, 10 minus 1 is 9, which is odd. And that's enough to tell you that it could be either odd and even. Let's do one more though, just to make sure. You get 15 minus 1, which is 14, so that's gone to even again. So it's just oscillating between odd and even.